Sports.
The heat of the desert is where the Sun Devils thrive. Welcome to Tempe, Arizona, Mountain America Stadium, home to the Arizona State Sun Devils and the rich legacy formed by the likes of Frank Cush, Jake the Snake, and Pat Tillman. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Wyoming Cowboys. Taking on a team from the Big 12, the Arizona State Sun Devils. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Sun Devils will put total leather and will get started. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. So the Wyoming Cowboys return team didn't help matters out much there. And these guys involve everybody in the passing game and none more prominent than this big fella. The quarterback knows he's going to be under duress in this game. So who do you look for? The tight end. And there aren't many better than this guy. No, and just big bodies that you can miss a little bit high and it really doesn't matter. But over the middle of the field, closer throws, so nice to have a security play with a great tight end. Got three on first down at second and seven. Scanning the field, it's Svoboda. He looks that one in nicely. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. This slot receiver is a guy the defense has to be careful of. He runs good routes, he's got some speed, and if you're not careful, this guy can gash him. Third down, and they'll need five to keep this opening drive moving. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. He's got an open man. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. The Cowboys will snap it on first and 10. He's going to pass. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire, now on second down. The give to the tailback. Sweet feet on the move. Still on his feet at the 45. You want to talk about shifting the field in an instant. He's got it all the way down to the 10-yard line. He now has 56 yards rushing for him now. What a drive to kick off the new season. Trying to find his man on first down. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Third and goal coming up here. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming! And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on them. They're on the board first here in the season opener. What a nice job by the offense. First drive of the game, they matriculated down the field, put themselves in a goal-to-go situation on third down. It's not going to be easy throwing it, but they win the matchup, accurate throw, and they get paid away. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So Arizona State's offense will get the ball for the first time. And these two electrifying runners can put on a show, guys. 
Well, we always talk about the importance of tackling on defense, never more so than a game like this. When you've got two studs in the back that can make people look silly, you better bring hats to the football. Yeah, and you think there'll be a lot of carries today? When you got running backs like this that you can feature, you're going to see them get the football a lot early and often. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll run it to the right side. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. You got to feel good for this kid, too. He worked so hard this past offseason to put himself in position to be the starting running back, and he's got a lot of skill, guys. He's field running ability I think he's going to be a big part of the offense this season it'll be a first down from the 49 yard line Brown has it he's dropped behind the line of scrimmage that'll be a loss of three listen I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone this dude likes to put his face in the fan get close to the line of scrimmage and tackle and on the opening drive if he's out there he gets a huge tackle for loss early that is a statement play now on third down this offense has been rolling can the defense stand tall they'll try to run for it he gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. To the ground. He's got it again. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. On second down, he'll fire. Grab behind the line. It's scattable. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play has him set up. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. They'll try to blast their way down. And he is just engulfed at the line by this giant defensive tackle. And the Sun Devils moving quickly to the line. On second to goal, they go right back to it. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tired. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. He couldn't fight his way out of his grasp. How about the defender? being a heat-seeking missile. He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get him to backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. A third and long coming up here. 
Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Throws to the wideout. Working on the right. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. And the Cowboys are flying down the field. They'll give it to the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Had to work to pick up three down to the 33-yard line. be on third down after that last run. The clock has stopped and we've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. Got it in the middle. It's Brown. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. And the extra... Seven. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Kennesaw State has the lead right now, but this crowd is restless. They just haven't been able to separate themselves yet today. They're up by four over Ohio. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. Got it. The incompletion brings up a second down. He's looking to throw. That's reeled in. It's Brown. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. You know, it's funny. I know running backs oftentimes are afterthoughts when it comes to the passing game. But when you think about it, this guy's been making people miss his entire life taking handoffs. So why wouldn't you try to get him involved in the passing game as well? You just saw in that last play how dangerous he is after the catch. The Sun Devils come to the line with a new set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. They get an up rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. On second down, they'll take to the air. Showing the arm strength to the left. Pulls it in. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before it's finally stopped. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. He just throws it away. And I think the flag's going to be Chasing coming the in. And there it is. So the decision has been made. And the coach will take the penalty. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. He's right on target. And he's just run out of bounds, maybe living to fight another day there. It'll be a loss on the play. You know, that's one as a quarterback. When you see all those defenders around your intended target like that, just throw it in the ground or throw it away. I mean, that's a completion that loses yards. You're just hurting your offense there. 
and we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring Number up fourth third. down. On, and the Sun Devils will try to pin them back with the punt. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the Roughing kicker. The kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Here comes the offense on first and ten from the 47. Looking to move it through the air. Dances away to buy time. He's got it inside the 25. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. The quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. He's got him still on his feet. They make the stop at the two, but he's got enough to give them a first and goal. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They'll use the running game on first and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Arizona State! And I love that this offense stuck to it. Stuck to the run game. Didn't panic. They got down, but they answered the bell right before the half, and they got this thing right where they want it now. They can tie this football game and hopefully go into the half with a lot of momentum. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Only seven seconds remaining in the first half. Let's see how they play it here on first and ten. Running back searching for a hole. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a terrific atmosphere there in Tempe. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've all that defense and also just about broken their will. We're all locked up here in the third quarter as he's set to kick it away. Set sail out of the end zone. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Arizona State is going back on offense and they come out looking for a spark. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. 
Listen, in these situations, it's so hard to push the ball down the field because the defense is playing pass. We bring in more DBs. We're, we're dropping deeper on our, in our coverage, and we're making you throw the ball underneath or run the football. Nice job by the running back. Listen, he got good yards. He didn't get the first down, but now he's in a situation where third down becomes something where it's not predictable. Now it's a situation where they can go out and have success. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. The Sun Devils have it with a first and ten. Power football with the run. Still running at the 40. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. And the Sun Devils have this offense rolling. They'll give it to him again. And this time, they're waiting for him, and he only gets back to the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Here comes a third down situation, and the defense hasn't been able to slow them down. He wants to throw it. And those two couldn't make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. You sort of get the feeling here in the second half with the game tied. It very easily could come down to which of these two quarterbacks has the football last. Bit of a blown opportunity there on third down with that incompletion. This guy's going to have to lock in for the remainder of the game. When you're around midfield, the analytics will tell you so much better to go for it on fourth down. <laughs> Takes a hit as he releases it and just spiked it right into the ground. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. What a big stop for this defense in the second half around midfield. You can set your offense up for success right here on this drive by getting that big fourth down stop. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line, second and seven. Right back to it. Oh, the sweet juke gets him free. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. The give out of the gun. They get him stopped at the 26, but not before he picks up five yards. That didn't bust for a long time. Now the third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. This might be a little easier if it were straight on, but a 43-yarder from the right hash. Never a doubt. And now they take the lead. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. From the shotgun, the inside give. Defense makes the tackle, and that will probably be the final play of the third quarter. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters.
one more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Looking for room. It's Scatterbolt. At the 35, he's loose. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Back to the ground game on the left. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, putting them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple at second and eight, they'll go to the ground. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Big moment here for the defense. Can you come up with one more stop? You've got the lead. It's fourth and short. You're kind of in no man's land, so you're expecting them to go for it. If you can get off the field right here, you can win this game. Here we go with the run on fourth down. The Sun Devils brought to the ground, but not before picking up the first. Is that a secret? We've been calling his name all day. Clutch situation around midfield. You need a first down, you give it to him. Nice job running the football physically, getting the first down. And the Sun Devils are marching down the field. They'll run it. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. We love to see that from the defense, right? It's like bend, don't break. They've given up a bunch of plays on this drive, but now that they're getting damn close to field goal range, you're seeing them start to stiffen up. Here. Yeah, and plays don't matter anymore. Yards don't matter. All that matters with these defenses nowadays is points and limiting. Moves it forward just a bit, a pickup of one to the 35. A field goal attempt from this spot would be 52 yards out. A few yards on third down would make it easier. They're setting up the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets it up on the catch for the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. The Sun Devils have it with a first and ten. Looking for space. It's scatterable. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got, it. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Give to the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, that play didn't stand a chance. I mean, nobody even blocked that guy. And he's able to get the tackle for loss. They've got a ways to go on third down from the 24 as this defense tries to force them into a field goal try. A quick completion to the left, looking for the first down. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. All the plays, all the plans, all the schemes, and it will be decided on this kick. It's good. Just over a minute to play, guys. Still enough time for a finish here. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Hey, guys, got a final score in a big top 25 matchup. Utah is going to get out of Dodge with a win. It's a shave that might have been a little closer than Utes fans wanted, but a road victory feels great no matter what the final score is. Really unexpected outcome in this ranked-on-ranked -ranked matchup type of loss guys that'll get the attention of even a good football team yeah, how about that sounds as if they had a good ball game there Kevin thanks for the update fires to the right complete downfield we've got a timeout on the field and we are set up for a terrific finish 
Starting a drive like that really builds confidence. First down from the 45. Oh, and it's picked off. This could be huge in a tie game. Looking for more room. Touchdown, Sun Devils. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. What a play by this defense. The offense going in to take the lead. No, no, no. Flip the script. The big pick six. Now you're leading in this ball game. What a play by the D. They'll need to be very sound here. Limit this return and put this game in the hands of their defense to salt it away. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. And now the offense will come onto the field again. Okay, one possession game. You've got some time to work with, but you have to make up some ground quickly, David. You gotta be smart. Can't throw in front of the sticks. Can't get tackled in front of the sticks. Make sure we're taking some shots down the field, chewing up some yards. Jesse, the defense will be vulnerable here. Yeah, and I think because of that, David, offensively, you got to have a plan. you got to know where your best matchup is out on the perimeter and who can make the big catches here in small windows. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. That's a good decision by the quarterback. I know that's not going to come up on the stat sheet, but you're in the pocket. Nobody's open. Don't risk turning it over. Just throw it away. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Wants to throw. It's Svoboda. This time, it's complete. Timeout call by the offense. 29 seconds left on the clock. I like the slot receiver because it gives his quarterback a good option working the middle of the field. He's a nice weapon in this offense. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Got the quick pass. The defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. Trailing by a touchdown, this fourth down opportunity is gargantuan. Desperate to convert, and he'll throw it. Makes the catch, he's got enough. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. We've waited so long to start the season, and just the way you want to start, getting that 